Next we are going to see about analysis of phasor diagram. Consider a phasor diagram with normal excitation. That means such a current through the field winding which will produce a flux that will be adjust the magnitude of E phase, same as V phase. Let delta the load angle corresponding to the load on the motor. So exact oppo opposing position E phase with respect to V phase, E phase get displaced by angle del. The vector difference of E phase and V phase gives the phase which rep represents Ia is it is called E R phase. Then is it is equal to R A plus J into X X where R A is the resistance of state R per phase, X X is equal to synchronous reactance of state R per phase. That is theta equal to tan inverse of X by R A. The modulus of Z is equal to square root of R A square plus R S square. The angle theta is called internal machine angle. So this significant of theta is that phasor I A lags behind E R phase. The I A Z is by angle theta. The current always lags in the case of inductive impedance with respect to voltage drop across the impedance. So Phasor I phase can be shown lagging with respect to E phase by angle theta. Then uh, nature of this power factor lagging if I phase lags V phase by angle phi. The operating synchronous motor at constant load variable excitation. At start you consider normal behavior of synchronous motor where excitation is adjusted to E phase EB equal to V. The induced EMF is equal to the applied voltage is equal to applied voltage. Such excitation is called normal excitation of motor. The motor is drawing certain current from the supply and the power input to the motor. The power factor of the motor is lagging in nature. Now the excitation is changed. The change but there is hardly any change in the losses of motor. So the power input also remains same for constant load demanding same power output. Most of the time the voltage applied to the motor is constant. Hence for the constant power input V phase is constant. I cos phi remains constant under excitation. When the excitation is adjusted such a way that the magnitude of induced EMF is less than applied voltage, the excitation is called under excitation. Due to this ER increases in magnitude, this means the constant ZS current drawn by motor increases. Over excitation, the excitation to the field winding for which induced EMF becomes greater than the applied voltage, that means EB less than V is called over excitation. Due to the increased magnitude of EB, the ER also increase in magnitude, then critical excitation. When the excitation is changed, the power factor changes. The excitation for which the power factor for most motor is unity is called critical excitation. Then I A phase in phase with V phase. Okay, thank you.